Hi, I'm Rebecca. I am an educator here at Hunt's Photo and Video in Melrose. Also a full-time wedding photographer. Spent a lot of time in Lightroom, so I've got some tricks for you to help speed up your workflow, because if you're anything like me, your time is precious. Let's dive into it. First thing we're gonna talk about are hotkeys. Hotkeys are a really great way to help expedite your workflow when you work within Lightroom Classic. First set of hotkeys we're gonna talk about, ratings. We can give a few different ratings to photos. We can give star ratings, we can give color labels, and we can flag images as picks or rejects. So you could come in and click on an image and give a star rating right here. One star would be a one star rating, two stars would be a two star rating, but to help speed this up a little bit, you can use your keyboard. So key one would give a one star rating, key two would give a two star rating, and so on. If you wanna undo a star rating, simply hit the zero on your keyboard and you're back to that blank slate. So we're gonna give this image a three star. It's okay, I like it. And I'm gonna come over, hit my arrow key to the next image. Maybe I'll give this one a two, it's a little redundant. Come over to this image. I'll give this a three star rating, but I keep having to click my right arrow key to move to the next image, which can be a little time consuming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my caps lock key on my keyboard on. And what this is gonna do is this is going to auto advance to the next image for me without having to press that arrow key. So if I give this image a four star rating, you can see it just automatically advanced to the next image for me, saving me a lot of time. So we have star ratings, but what about color labels? Color labels are also really cool to use. So key six will give an image a red rating. Key seven will give an image a yellow rating. Key eight will give an image a green rating and key nine will give an image a blue rating. If you wanna undo one of your color labels, you would simply hit that corresponding keys. For example, this image is labeled blue. So we would hit the nine key again and that removes that rating for us. We can also flag picks. You would simply hit the letter P on your keyboard to flag an image as a pick. If you want to reject an image, you could use the X key to reject an image. And if you want to undo one of these picks, whether it's flagged as a pick or flagged as a reject, you would click on that image and hit the letter U to undo that rating for you. So the cool thing about star labels, color labels, or picks or rejects is you can actually stack them up. So you could have an image that is labeled red, but you could also give that a five star rating and you could also flag that as a pick. So you can give color labels different meanings, you can give star ratings different meanings, and you can give flags and rejects different meanings. Now I've called my images, I know which images I like, which ones I don't like. So now how can I sort through those images? I'm on a Mac, we'll paste the PC version below, but if I hit Command L, I am enabling my filter library. And then if I hit my backslash key, now I have all of these options up here so I can sort sort through different attributes within Lightroom. So I can see only images that have been given a five-star rating, or I can see only images that I've labeled red with five stars, and Lightroom will filter that out for you. We're gonna bring this image into the develop module, and we're gonna start editing this a little bit. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do before I even start any of my editing is I'm going to turn on my J key. And what this is going to do is this is going to show me if there are areas within my image that are clipping. So you'll see that I have a lot of red popping up right here. That's telling me that that space is so overexposed, it's rendered pure white. And I would need to adjust that, whether it's adjusting my exposure, my whites, or my highlights and bringing them down to balance that back out. If you see blue, like we see here, that's telling me that that area is so underexposed that it's rendered pure black and I need to adjust that, whether it's raising my exposure, my blacks or my shadows. You'll see up here in the top left corner, I have some information here. I have my file name, I have the date and time that I took this image and I have the size of my file. If I hit the letter I on my keyboard, that's gonna change that information for me. I still have that file name, but now I have my aperture, shutter, and ISO information. I also have the focal length and the type of lens that I used to take this picture. This can be really helpful information to have in front of you while you're editing, but sometimes it can get a little annoying and be distracting when we're editing our images. So if we hit the letter I again on our keyboard, it will remove that from our screen and we can focus on just just the image in front of us. And that's it. Those are the hotkeys I have for you today. Again, my name's Rebecca. I hope you like this video. I enjoyed talking with you. Come hang out with us sometime if you wanna know more.
I like this image. We're gonna give this one a four star rating. Oh shoot. What? Oh, I didn't reset, reset it. <laughs> okay, I already said that. You can replace this with that, <laughs> okay. Josh. Thank you. Is that like more personality or like less dry? Like laughing at myself. <laughs>